Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to get um, simple data into a flow. Now this particular flow is taken, or this section of the flow, is taken from uh, my MQT, MQTT broker monitor flow where I add brokers uh, into a list that need to be monitored and I remove brokers from a list that I don't want to monitor anymore. And I say you can use this for any kind of data. I use the same kind of technique for configuration data. So most flows have configuration data. You can actually hard code that data into a flow or you can put it into a, a file initially and read it from the file. Um, but this is more flexible in the, f in the fact that it allows you to actually read it from the file here because you can load the data from the file here and it also allows you to actually add additional data to it so if the data changes so you need to change some parameters so we have two text input these are these are, these are text input forms and we can add brokers to the list here and we can remove brokers from the list so let's add a broker to the list and once we finish we can add multiple brokers to this list so we we might want to add a list of brokers in one go so we submit it and if I just click on this show brokers you can see it's added to the broker list and to remove a broker let's remove um, the first one and show the brokers and you can see it's been removed so quite straightforward now once I'm happy with the broker list I save the data to the file so it's there next time I load up the flow. So let's take a, a quick look at the code behind it. And it's quite straightforward. Uh, let's start at the top. So we had the input buttons. And you can see here it's, it's actually a form and we're using a multi-line input. and it just goes straight into this function which basically terminates, it doesn't go anywhere and the function starts off let's open that up a bit we have to, because we can add multiple brokers we need to split the brokers so if we have a list here we're going to split the brokers into a, a, a list and this is the new line characters so we just get rid of those new line characters and split the, uh, the list up so we should finish up here with a list of brokers uh, that we've had it. In the case when I showed you the example we would only have one broker. And now we go and loop through the the new brokers and we see if the broker already is already existing in that actual list. So the original list is called brokers and the ones we're adding is called new brokers. So we just basically go through that brokers list and if it includes our, our new broker then we don't add it if it doesn't include our new broker then we add it it's quite quite straightforward and at the end we save it so it's stored in a flow object called brokers and the remove brokers is the opposite so we loop through the new brokers list these are the brokers we we want to remove and we check the brokers list is this broker in that list if it is then we can remove it so we find the index of the broker and then we cut it out using the splice again quite straightforward now if it's not in that list we can't remove it so we just continue so to save it we basically pull out the broker list it's from the flow variable uh, we convert it into a JSON string and we store it. We return it and it gets stored by the file node. Now the actual file name we're picking up uh, that's part of a global variable which I, I've set and let me show you that there it is there. So this this you could also set from the input form. I haven't done that. It's actually hard coded in there, but you could set this from the input form. In fact, it would be a sensible thing to actually set it from the input form. And the read is basically the opposite. We read the d the data from the file, and then we convert it to a JavaScript object using the JSON node. And and then we store it in the brokers so we set it set the flow.brokers to the payload and it's done 
so that's it a very very simple straightforward flow but something that you do uh, or you need to do quite often is that basically get data from a file store data in the file and add new data to to that um, to use in the flow so that brings us to the end of the video i hope you found it useful and until next time goodbye